Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the video and welcome back to another Call of Duty video here on the channel. Today we are back with another episode of Road to Diamond, this is episode 16. And then last episode we made a ton of progress on the QBB LSW including getting carbon fiber, skulls, and art of war camo finished. And today we are going to get this weapon gold in this episode. So if I have to cut out some games I will, but I want to get this weapon gold in this episode because we're so close. We have only one double kill left and 150 kills with no attachments and then of course a game featuring the qbb lsw with the best class slash the gold camo so uh this will be a little bit of a grind i mean 150 kills if we get 30 kills per tdm that's five five games but that's being very very realistic so uh, again if i'll cut out some games if i have to but i will include every single like the showing every single camo that i unlock so uh should be pretty fun here this is the class that we're gonna rock with with no attachments, which should be, I think, pretty solid for the QBB LSW because Dexterity, of course, gives you faster, uh, aim faster after sprinting. And I always use Tack Mask. It's kind of a crutch perk for me here within this game. Um, anyways, hopefully, guys, hope you enjoy <clears throat> this next episode, and I will see you guys all in the six games of the video. Guys, welcome into game number one. We are playing some TDM on Hijacked. Now, as you guys can see, I'm using the Carbon Fiber Camo, which is a camo that I really wanted to use in this game. Okay. See, there it is, Ronin camo, just like that. Boom. Well, there's one. I'm gonna mess with that. Genuinely. We. Oh, assist. Dang you, teammate. Sweating. With your ballista. Yeah, I bet you never would think to hear those words. Sweating with a ballista. But that's Black Ops 2 for you. Okay. We've taken the lead. Perfect. No, dude. Oh my gosh. One of the funny things about doing a series on Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 at the same time is that Black Ops 1 has cover. Black Ops 2 does not. No cover and Black Ops 2 is safe. Black Ops 1, you can you can get behind cover pretty safely. Unless they have that one perk, but nobody uses that one perk. In Black Ops 1. Again, I love both of these games. Just some things I notice. Here, hold that for me, bud. Oh. Flak jacket. Smart. But. UAV now I know where you are, so. I wish you the best of luck, man. And there's our first UAV of the match for either either team. Yeah, this lo lobby is unfortunately not really filling up. I mean, it just now hit five players. Like, maybe they're trying. I don't know. I have one bullet. This is not a good spot for me to be in right now. Wow, this is actually the rare game where somebody turned their hacks off. I swear that never happens. Ding was hacking. And he turned them off. Oh, buddy, let's go. Ooh, you love it. You love to see it, man. Inbound. Friendly UAV inbound. Oh, 
Let's go, dude. 29 and 12. Thank you, our errors for turning off your hacks. Like, genuinely, thank you. Like, I appreciate you doing that because nobody likes to play with you if you hack. <laughs> End of story, man. You go 9 and 11, you know what? We all went negative back in the day. I used to be with, with these guys, 4 and 10, 4 and 13. I used to be there, okay? I understand exactly how you feel. Um, but anyway, guys, that was a very productive game number one. We got a lot of progress there. So I will see you all in game number two. Uh, guys, welcome into no game one. number two. We are playing some DDM on standoff. Hopefully we can do well. Now, there were, I did get a comment in, I think it was the last episode or the episode before that, um, where somebody mentioned that this game is very hacked, and they are right. It is very hacked. But you can still find legit lobbies. You just have to do a little bit of lobby searching. And, I mean, some days are better than others, for sure. Like, right now, I'm playing this game uh, at things like 6 o'clock on a Friday. And I have run into, well, that one hacker, but only for a little bit because he turned off his hacks. Which, again, is very rare. But, like, this is the second lobby I found, and so far, it's pretty clean. What the? Where'd this guy go? He was up here, I swear. Okay, well, whatever it is, he's gone now. Oh, this is gonna be a nice little flank. Nice, let's go. Let's get that UAV in. See what this guy's gonna do. I think he's gonna. Why did I do that? We could have gotten streaks. <laughs> we could have gotten streaks. All right, sorry about that, guys. Obviously, I'm just gonna edit right to where we're playing the game again. But I got a phone call from. From my family, since since I moved home, of course, I get phone calls from them if they need something. And so I had to answer it. Ooh. Okay. Hello, buddy. Nice to see ya. Man, these guys are playing kind of sporadically. Hunter killer drone inbound. Well, let's get inside. I don't want to die to that. Friendly UAV inbound. Shot out. Perfect. Hunter killer drone deployed. Okay, there's a guy up there. I know that for a fact. Can I get that in there? I did, but he... He must have moved on. Mission almost okay, these I was just going to say, these enemies should still be spawning over here. Our team is too good craziness anyway guys 12 and 7 game number two this one was heavily edited so i don't think it's going to count as a game number two um because i had to you know i had to cut out that conversation but i think i don't know I, we'll see how things go but i'll probably consider it a game number two but we'll have to see anyways i will see you all in game number three all right guys welcome into game number three we are playing some tdm on standoff again now we are using the ronin camo for this game because i you know, we used carbon fiber for two games. Now it's time to use the other camos for two games. And the Ronin camo is very, very cool. 
again, it's hard for me to pick, like, the best camos in Black Ops 2. But, like, I'd have to say that my favorite, like, primary challenge camo is the Bloodshot one. Then my favorite secondary camo, that's really tricky. Because there's a lot of good ones. I'd have to say it's between Art of War, Ronin, and... Man, I don't know. Art of War, Ronin, and... Yeah, Art of War and Ronin. That, that, that would probably be my... My pick between the secondary camos. Friendly UAV inbound. Okay, there's some guys upstairs. Shh, I'm not here. UAV Don't worry about it, man. I'm not here. Okay, I want to stay kind of back. Because... Like, connection. Thank you, teammate. Oh my gosh. That was an abysmal spawn. Like, I could literally hear him shooting my teammate as I was spawned in. Crazy, man. Dude, these LMGs, they are ridiculous. Like, talk about easy mode to the max. I mean, they are kind of an ironic weapon class because they're, they're easy to get kills with, but, like, getting superb gameplay with them, not easy. Please die. Ooh, man. It's tricky to win it's tricky to win gunfights sometimes. Like ge like genuinely. Sniper, get down. Like again, when there's a host to host game like Black Ops 2, winning gun winning gunfights is not a cakewalk. Like, there's a lot of times where I lose gunfights. Simply because of connection. It actually happens. It actually happens a lot more than you would think. What's going on, fellas? You having a bit of a hard time here? Ooh, migrating host. Hopefully, it goes through. It will. Yay. Our team's getting throttled, and it's not because of me. Oh my gosh. These guys are playing snow so sneaky, man. And there it is. 20, see again, it wasn't because of me. 20 and 9. Holy crap, man. Double negative. Almost double negative. Triple negative. No, quadruple negative. 80. Oh, jeez. My team got annihilated. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for game number... Yeah, game number three. So I'll stay with you guys. I'll stay with you guys. Ooh, that was. I feel bad kind of for my teammates here. But as far as our progress, halfway point of the video, we are only... Um... Uh, 76 away if that math is correct so 76 kills away we'll see we'll see how things go again i'll cut out a game if i have to so i'll probably the reality is i'll probably if we don't get it done in six games or if we don't get this camo challenge done in the next two games i'll probably cut out the worst gameplay of the video and then 
I'll include the, ga the gameplay with using gold. And there's a possibility I'll do a bonus gameplay using the MK48 with gold, but I haven't found that, figured that out yet or not. So, uh, and guys, that's going to do it for game number three, and I will see you all in game number four. All right, guys, welcome to game number four. We are playing some TDM on drone. Hopefully, we can do well. Now, I really hope that this video has been, or that using the LMGs has been a good showing of how to rush with an LMG here in Call of Duty. Or even just proving that you can rush with an LMG here in Call of Duty. Thank goodness. Like, of course, like I'm using this LMG like an AR. Basically, like I'm playing defensive and at times, but I'm also doing a lot of moving around. And as you can see, like, it is very possible. The LMGs have such a bad reputation in Black Ops 2, and they even did for me for the longest time. Because they were, you know, people back in Black Ops 2, 2012, 2013, when they played with LMGs, they used target finder scopes, camped in the back of the map, and it was like, dude, you are trash. Like I've, I mean, I've always had a little bit of a bias for LMGs in Call of Duty. I think that they are hated on way too much, but it's because of the way that people play with them. Okay, that hurt. Okay. Did my teammate get that guy? I think he did. But I'm really not too sure, honestly. Okay, let's get that UAV in. Okay, I'm pretty sure this guy went underground. Hmm. Run! Don't get sniped! Oh, okay. Okay, let's push up. There's two guys down. At all. We just unfortunately have no way of being stealthy. So it just kind of is what it is, frankly. Like, I have absolutely no way of being stealthy. With with the challenge I have to complete anyway. Okay. Okay, well, those files are definitely going to flip now. Like, they have to flip now. Hit fire. Like genuinely, if some if sometimes feels like there's just not a bad thing that these LMGs are like there's not a thing these LMGs are bad at. Come on. Get turned on. Sit down, pal. Yeah, it is kind of interesting. There are people who are still buying Black Ops 2. Like, you guys are seeing the ranks in this lobby. It's pretty awesome. That people are still buying Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I mean, honestly, would I recommend buying it? I mean, I, I honestly couldn't tell people, go buy Black Ops 2. Because it's so hacked, man. 
But you can if you want. Because look at that. Level 5, level 15, first prestige, level 25, level 10, level 9, level and level 10. So, I mean, you can you can definitely do that. Like, if a bunch of people bought it, then the hackers would, would be consistently less. But I, I couldn't just say, go buy Black Ops 2, because it is very hacked. But 29 and 11 for game number 3, or game number game number 4 there. Not too bad. We should be able to get this camo done uh, in the next game or so. So, that should be awesome. But anyways, I'll see you all in game number five all right guys welcome into game number five as you can see there's more low levels it's awesome like i think it's great that people are buying black ops 2 still again would i recommend it no with just how many how frequently you run into hackers but people are still buying and playing black ops 2 in 2024 which is pretty dang awesome because it is a great call call of duty game it really is and if it wasn't so hacked, it'd be ama just as amazing. Okay. Nice try. Counter UAV on standby. Oh my gosh. Down to the last round. Counter UAV inbound. Friendly UAV inbound. And this LMG is pretty darn fun. Sniper! Oh. Holy crap. You have to be so careful. Okay, now we don't have to be careful anymore. Just kidding, we do. But not for long. <laughs> Yay! Oh, migrating hosts. We are on a streak. We are on a good streak. Imagine if you dropped a nuclear with a no attachment. UBB. UAV that would be orders. dumb. Probably not going to happen. Because again, the VSAT helps everybody, not just you, which is fair. But. Have destroyed your UAV. Ow. That was pretty. Counter UAV on standby. Pretty dang close. There's a 15 gun streak. Friendly counter UAV inbound. Hostiles have destroyed your counter UAV. That is sneaky. Get moving. Ow. Sneaky, sneaky guy. Orbital VSAT oh, there's another VSAT. Let's get that guy in. We, mm, I mean, it, we can possibly go nuclear, but we have to really, really, really push for it. I mean, there's a 20 gun streak, which is, which would get you the mastery calling card for TDM. So we're 10 kills away, and we need... Okay, we're 10 kills away, and there's 20... Not quite 20 kills left in the game. We're actually 9 kills away. Now, I have never gotten a nuclear in Black Ops 2. Fun fact but it's going to be impossible. And we died anyway. <laughs> we died anyway, but we almost went nuclear. 
that would have been absolutely incredible, but I think, unfortunately, it would have been impossible. Like, even had we, like, we died on a, what, 26 gun streak? And there's only one kill left in the game right now, so. There we go, guys. 27 and 3 with a 26 gun streak thrown in the mix there. That was pretty darn awesome. Well, I know what I'm going to title this video, but that was freaking awesome. I really hope you guys enjoyed game number 5. And since we didn't get the weapon gold, I'm going to play until I get the gold camo. So I'll show you guys the clip of us getting the gold camo. And then we'll do a gameplay using using the uh, gold QBB LSW. So that should be awesome. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the clip of us getting the gold camo. There it is. There is the gold camo, man. Heck yes. Well, that didn't take too long. It only took about, only took a game and I guessed almost two games, but they were Nuketown games. So pretty darn quick there. Well, anyway, guys, I will see you all now in the final game of the video. Rocking out with the gold QBB LSW. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, welcome into our final game of the video. We are playing some TDM on Nuketown. Rocking out with the silenced. Rocking out with the gold. QBB LSW, which you guys can see right here. Looking very awesome. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like, but you'll see it in the thumbnail. I just didn't, I didn't want to die. So. Now I am using some... I am using some very, very, very big streaks right now. So I would like to get them for you guys, but... As long as I can get like a 3KD gameplay, I'll be happy. I don't want to stress myself out too bad. From a gameplay perspective, but... But at that same time, I would love to get these big streaks and we're very... Very close. Okay, well, there's. There they are, man. I'm. I don't care. We died, but that's fine. Yes, this is my favorite score streak loadout in the entire Black Ops 2, and we got all of those streaks. First game too. We didn't even have to try that hard let's go dude weapon is crazy oh my gosh man my streaks unfortunately aren't getting too many kills at the moment but they're doing okay Okay. Well, my streaks didn't quite go in as much as I would have hoped, but that's just completely fine, man. I don't know if it'll work with every LMG, but it's pretty good. Run, get inside. Oh, that was close. Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like stock might be a little OP with these LMGs. Like, I feel like I shouldn't be able to move this fast with stock. 
But we'll take that 35 and 7 for the final game of the video, rocking out with the beautiful gold QBB LSW. And that concludes this weapon. So we are now onto the LSAT LMG. I'm not going to include that bonus MK48 game that I was mentioning to you guys because I, I don't want this video to be too long. But that was a lot of fun getting this weapon gold. And I'm excited to get the LSAT gold because I think the LSAT is probably known to be the best LMG in Black Ops 2. Oh, man. It's Raid. You know what, guys? We are doing a bonus MK48 gameplay. So I'll see you in a bonus. A bonus game. You guys don't have to watch it if you don't want to. But um, Raid is a map. So I will. I want to play Raid. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. Welcome into our final game of the video. Our bonus match. You're playing some TDM on standoff, rocking out with the MK48 with the gold camo, of course, which is pretty awesome. Now I did I did get the stock attachment, which again I think is a little OP. Okay, sorry teammate, I just Lit you up a little bit. Nope. I do not want to reload. I've got a hundred rounds. Why do I feel like there was a different guy in there? Kill. Nice. Let's go, teammate. Okay, I have a feeling. Care package inbound. Okay, stock somehow makes these LMGs ridiculous. Like, your guess is as good as mine as to why, but it makes them ridiculous. But where is everybody? There's my teammates. Hostile lightning strike inbound. Dropping waypoint out. Got a threat. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little stressed. We're one or two kills away from streaks. And I have no idea where, where these enemies are at. Oh my goodness. Well, there's the stealth chopper. But... No! Dang it, I knew... Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, well. Is what it is. We got one of our streaks, and so... Although this game just got very laggy. Which is not good. But this stealth chopper... Should be an amazing distraction. Got a few kills, which is awesome. Obviously, it's not as good as if we got all three of our streaks, but it is what it is. I should have predicted that. That that guy would be standing up there. Damn. It is what it is, though. Dude, I, I get sniped all the frick. Well, I need to not even say that. Everybody who plays Black Ops 2 ever gets sniped all the time. Like, it is unfortunate that this game doesn't have a kill buy like Black Ops 1 does because 
everybody's most most killed by would be a sniper. No, dude, I'm not going to lose a freaking gameplay because I keep getting sniped idiotically. Sit down. You're not, you know, I refuse. down nice there we go guys we got a little bit of a gameplay buffer thank goodness for that which is awesome so there we go guys that's going to do it for the bonus game of this video and for the elk qbb lsw being complete i had a lot of fun this episode i'm not even gonna lie this was a fun one that qbb lsw with stock silencer and quick draw is fantastic uh, but anyways we are now moving on to the lsat which is a weapon that we have to start from the from square one on. It is a weapon that is, um, we haven't gotten a single headshot with it. And it is level two. Well, actually, okay, we have a single headshot with it. So this one might take a little longer than the QBB, but it really won't be anything significant. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed another episode of Road to Diamond here with the Black Ops 2. If you guys did enjoy this episode, like writing is always appreciate and check out any of my other previous episodes of this series. They will all be linked down below from the playlist in the description as well as they will also be at the end of the video for you guys to check out as well. And I will see you all on another Call of Duty video very, very soon.